What's going on, Libra? Oh my God, I was trying to do a food shopping, and um, I'm telling you, they doing construction over here in my area, and like I was losing signals. So I'ma just, you know, it was about patience, though. It really was. <laughs> Libra, I miss you guys. I want to thank y'all so much for the support, the love, um, your likes, you know, just sticking with your girl. You feel me? Because spirit always got me moving and, and doing things. And, you know, I just appreciate the support and the love that I get from you guys. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into your reading just to let you know, I'm going to start out with all the juicy meat and potatoes and then we're gonna go ahead and dig right in in the extended so if you're not a member become a member because you already a subscriber and you like the video okay lilies i love you guys i thank y'all so much no 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 we didn't even invite the ancestors of our highest good <laughs> And thank you so much for Libra's message. This also wanted to come out. Thank you so much for the clarity. Open up the spiritual door, spirit, and allow the messages to come through. Hold back what doesn't belong. Protect me and Lily's as above, so below. Let's go. All right, let's get into your message because like I told you, there was a hold up, but it was also about being patient. And the first word that sticks out to me is impulsive. Can y'all see that? I hope y'all can see that impulsive right doing something before it's time okay so we have the governor of wands mm, this is king energy this is a uh, fire sign aries leo sag oh something tickling my spirit okay so somebody's very impulsive i'm gonna tell y'all right now somebody is very much wanting you they want you now they don't want to wait what the heck okay um, you meet this person's expectations and they have very high expectations. Okay. Hmm. But Libra, you're not so sure about this person. This could be a job. This could be an admirer. This could be somebody that grown man, grown woman status, but just because it's packaged pretty doesn't mean that everything on the inside is exactly what you want. That's what I'm hearing. Oh, we have the higher fin. Do y'all see that? Okay, yeah. It's about, you know, sticking to your beliefs. Okay. So, okay, let's talk about it. So, this is what's crossing this person. They have to learn how to do things in order and natural organic order they have to learn how to do things in decency and order and it's like they're trying to skip doing something a certain way oh okay let's talk about it. let's talk about it mm. all right this person sees you as pure white light that's why spirit had me choose this background covering okay um, they, they, they see you as someone that's very pure, melodic, uh, very high vibrational energy. Okay. So they're attracted to your light. That's what spirit is telling me. Okay. So this is in a reverse. Mm, okay. And I feel like this is you Libra, because when you see this person, this is like, look at this queen. This is like you, they see you as a deity, a goddess or a god, okay? Someone very attractive. They really like your hips or they like your stature. They like, um, they like how you walk, how you sway when you walk. Um, I'm hearing when the left eye something about your left thigh talking to the right thigh like they like it for for your divine feminines but for your masculines it's it's something about your stature okay you hold your head up high you know you you walk with confidence especially with um the hierophant being here this is someone who's very confident and you know, they, they walk with you may be very well known to the people so 
this deck has certain deities. I'm not even about to break down who's who, but it says guardian of the sea. I'm sorry, guardian of the sea. Hold on, y'all. Let me see if I could get better lighting. All right, Libras, I'm sorry about that. We needed to shed some light <laughs> on this message, okay? We needed to shed some light on this message. So let me get the cards back together. So like I said, we have a fire sign. This doesn't have to be a fire sign. This could just be this person's energy. They're very cocky, confident. Um, they know what they want. You know, they get what they want. And they could be very spicy and passionate, a go-getter, someone that doesn't take a, a no for an answer. They will keep trying until they get what they want. And then we have the Hierophant cross thing. So, you know, this is all about what this person has an issue with. They want it their way or the highway. And it's like, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You know, this person's very uh, wise or they're not using their wisdom. They're, they're using something else taking action using the passion between their legs is what I'm hearing for some of you for others of you this person is just you know it's like they're a good catch but they don't always play by the rules mm. okay and they see you because look how he looking back at her look how he, I'm gonna show it to y'all look how, you don't see this person but they see you I hope y'all can see that they see you so he's looking back at her like, oh, who's that? Like, you caught this person's attention, minding your own business, Libra. Okay? And this person has high ex expectations. Not everybody gets to uh, catch their attention. Okay? And so, it's like your light is causing this person to be attracted to you. And so, it says guardian of the sea. Okay? So, guardian of the sea is like Yemaya. Okay? Um, guardian of the sea is also... Um, like someone who is very spiritual, someone who is very um, in tuned with uh, nature, in tuned with mystical things, okay? Things of the sea. And when you think of the sea, the sea is very big and, you know, it could be very intimidating, okay? But at the same time, it's very refreshing and cleansing. And that's what this person is attracted to you, okay? This is the type of energy that you are embodying, okay? Now, the person's name on here is Squeepolisha. That sounds like somebody from the hood. I ain't even gonna lie. So that's why I'm not even calling it. But it says, please help my stomach and my intestines to heal from uh, a function properly. Allow my food to digest adequately as messages are carried to other parts of my body. So you could be the type of person that embodies um, a lot of digestive issues. So you're very healthy about what you eat. Some of you only eat fruits and vegetables and fish or seafood. You don't eat red meat. You don't eat chicken. Or you could just be someone... Um, I feel like some of you also, uh, you might add like a table, a, a, a pinch of salt to your water. Um, crystalline salt is what I'm hearing. Iodized salt, so not iodized, but, um, that, that, um, sea salt. Okay. That's what I'm hearing as well. A lot of you might have a connection with the sea where you feel very balanced. You may meditate at the sea or spend a lot of time at the beach when you can. Um, it says, allow my body and mind to be balanced and blessed. Help me to gain imagination, compl uh, complete functionality and divine clarity. So I will see my future as being bright. Allow me to think bigger, heal quicker and desire more daily. Uh, we show gratitude. So you show gratitude to the sea because the sea is a place where you receive downloads and images and um, some of you could live by the sea. Okay. So this is, this is what this person sees. This is who this King of Wands is looking at. And it's like with this person, this is your root. Okay. So when I see the root here, this is about you using your intuition in this situation, okay? Um, at the bottom of the deck, I have the star. Didn't I tell you? Can y'all see that? I have the star. 
okay? So this is all about renewed faith, right? Um, this is someone that is a healing energy, and I feel like this person sees you as the star, the one, right? But they don't want to go through the process of uh, sticking to doing things in a certain way. Like they have a certain belief about getting what they want, and it kind of uh, conflicts with who you are and what you stand for. Mm. So you're allowed to teach this person something in the near future, or you could currently be doing that, or you're about to see something, but this is also success, okay? Um, you are on the right path, Spirit is telling me for some of you, um, all of you actually, Libra, you're all on the right path. If you see this message, this message is speaking to you, you are on the right path, okay? So let's see what's going on in the past. Tell me more, Spirit, what happened in the past? For Libra. Okay, so in the past, look at this. Lights, camera, action is in the reverse. It says someone paying attention or stalking you. Okay, it says someone's watching you. Keep your eyes uh, open. Secret admirer. So this is in the reverse is letting me know that you've been single, Libra. You've been single or you've been feeling like you haven't been paid attention to. Um, maybe you felt overlooked. This could be with a job as well. Tell me more about the past. Thank you. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you felt overlooked. You felt unloved. With the Queen of Cups, you've been focusing on yourself, on your healing. The Queen of Cups in reverse is someone that, um, could be like deep in emotions, Right? Maybe you've been hurt in the past, overlooked in the past, and you know, you had to work on your healing in the past. And now you found your confidence with the star card. Okay, so congratulations, Libra. Okay. Um, maybe you were overlooked by a Pisces Cancer Scorpio as well, Spirit is telling me. Maybe you weren't tapped into your intuitive side in the past and you had to learn how to listen to your intuition more. So you had to do some dietary uh, changes um, to get more downloads because when your stomach is digesting properly, you're able to receive um, downloads that were already there, or you're able to get better dreams, better visions. You can listen to your intuition more. And so that, that was something that needed to be healed. And I feel like you had to go through that process to heal. And as you started to do that, you get this attention of this King of Wands energy, uh, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. Okay. Even a Taurus possibly. And now this person is coming into your life or coming into your present and you're not even paying them no attention but they you know let's keep going let's see what's crowning this situation okay but they are paying attention to you okay so we have the four of swords in reverse like i said this person wants to be impulsive and that's what i saw in this person the four of swords in reverse is someone who does not rethink before they don't think before they act they just act on impulsion okay so we have impulsive here this is someone who takes action because they see an opportunity they just gonna go for it mm. So the four of swords is also about not resting. And I feel like that's something that you also battled with as well. This is probably why you're attracting this person to you in your present is because you haven't taken the time to rest and heal. And spirit is saying, you know, um, with the four of swords, let me turn that right side up. So the four of swords here is rejuvenation, is sanctuary, is re-entering the world, right? This being in the reverse is letting me know that you're in the world, that you're, you know, you or this person is in the world, like constantly going out and about. You could be on the verge of re-entering into a new phase, a new um, chapter in your life, Okay. And you've been trying to figure out how to adapt. Hmm. Why is the Four of Swords in reverse? Sorry. Why is the Four of Swords in reverse? Please and thank you. Why is the Four of Swords? Dang. Hold on, y'all. Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> okay. Sorry, y'all. It fell all the way over there. Like somebody didn't want me to see something. 
All right, so we have money is coming. That's good. A new job, change in finances, okay? But in the reverse, we have the past, okay? So spirit is telling me that the past is in a reverse. This is the death to a rebirth. So this is like the Scorpio card, okay? So when the Scorpio card is in a reverse, this is telling me that somebody is avoiding some type of transition maybe you're avoiding leaving a job because it says leave job promotion it's like you don't know if you should leave one situation to go to another situation but when you do you're going to see your whole life change your money concerns are going to get better that's for those of you that are dealing with a boss that may try to control you with their authority but they're not uh, they're not uh, acting on, oh God, I'm about to get tongue tied. They're not acting on principality. They're not act. They're not acting on good principles. Thank you. They're not acting on good principles. They're like using the policies and procedures to their own advantage. They're using their authority to control you in a certain way for others of you um if this is a love situation spirit is telling me that you're resisting some type of change because you may be comfortable with uh not i don't know talk to me spirit because the four of swords is resting it's like you you've been working really hard and you haven't had a you haven't gotten a break. So everyone's situation is going to be different. Either you've been working really hard and you haven't found anything that is worth your time, but you do have somebody who's interested in you with this uh Hierophant card here. This is like maybe um you may have to conform. It's like somebody wants to try to control you. I definitely picked that up. And they're using their authority to do so, especially with the four of swords in reverse. It's like somebody is doesn't feel comfortable around this person. And it's like spirit is telling you, you know, um, that you need to trust your intuition. Why, why is, okay, so this is your near future. Why is, why is the death card in reverse? I know it has to do with avoiding some type of transformation, avoiding an ending, avoid leaving a job. So this could definitely be about a job situation, but I also picked up like some kind of like <sighs> control when it comes to it's like this person wants to keep you where you are so that you could be. It's like, a remember we saw a secret at Myra? Yeah, thank you, Spirit. We saw a secret at Myra. So this is in a reverse because this person, um, they like you, but in a, in a, in a toxic way. It's like they like to use their authority over you. Because the Queen of Cups in reverse is someone who's selfish, you know, emotionally immature. So this person likes you, but they, they don't know how to express it. Maybe they can't express it because of the whole um, quid pro thing. I'm thinking that's what I'm hearing as well. Like you're not going to take favors for sex or promotion, and it's like this person is wanting you to take favors for, for sex or promotion. And so you're like stuck in this situation where you might have to leave your job, but you're afraid to do that because you don't, you know, you, you need your money. You need your money. Mm. I don't like when people use their authority to try to control people. We have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah, Spirit don't like it either. The Ace of Swords in reverse is 
you know, not seeing things clearly, feeling stuck. And that's what these four swords in reverse is. It's like you can't relax because you're trying to figure out how to solve this issue where you don't take the bad end of the stick. Dealing with this king of wands who's using the policy and procedures to try to control you for money. Okay, the ace is, ooh, see, honor your sacred space. This is La Madama. Find comfort in the dance that is life cleansing the heart chakra. Appreciation of life, self, honor self, and spouse. Ooh, healing the heart, mind, and body. So with this ace of swords in reverse, um... Somebody is unwilling to communicate. So maybe you need to speak your truth. The three of wands. Yeah, the three of wands is like expecting good things. You know, looking forward to moving on and experiencing life. There's so much more out there if you go through this transformation. So let us let me pull some other cards. Hold on, y'all. Let me pull out some other cards. Um... Thank you, spirit. Where's my zap? All right. First of all, I just want to pick up the vibe. I feel like this is a work, a work vibe, but it could be like this new part. It could be somebody, you know, thrills. Yeah. Continuous cycles of bad decisions and addictions. And that's that ace of swords in the reverse. Okay. And then we have trapped, stuck, no options, unforgiveness, right? So maybe you feel trapped, you know, all right, you know your story. So what I'm picking up is that for some of you, you could have dealt with this person at first. Like, hold on, y'all. You could have you could have dealt with this person like at first on some favors and stuff like that, but then it started to get too complicated and you backed out to balance yourself out, right? But now it things started to happen too fast. It, it was way more than what you asked for. Okay, and now you feel stuck in a situation when it comes to money. Okay, spirit, tell me what's the vibe for Libras, please and thank you. Tell me what's the vibe, please and thank you. When it comes to this situation with this King of Wands, I'm not taking all of that. That's too much. Tell me what's the vibe, please and thank you. Okay, that it's like they don't want to tell me what's the vibe. <gasps> Y'all see what I see. This is an abusive person. Oh my God, Libra. This is a psychopath. And they all dressed up like they somebody important. Oh, this person is definitely playing Russian roulette. Tell me more, Spirit. Oh, okay, that's it. I'm not taking no more. At the bottom of the deck, we have delays, procrastination, too busy, okay? So I'm going to put that out here because it's a reason for it to be there. All right, so glow up, new opportunities, new careers, successful business, okay? Um, I'm going to say this. This is happening because it's time for you to glow up. It's time for you to shine, and that's why we saw the star, all right? Spirit is saying suffering and silence. Didn't I say somebody's not speaking their truth about the situation? You feel stuck. And that's why. Because you're dealing with a narcissist. An egotistical opportunist that is. They're, they're a child in a grown man or grown woman's body. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Where are we at with this? Oh my goodness. Hold on y'all. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to see the time because we will definitely go too far. And I do not. I do not. Okay, so we had 23 minutes. Okay, so let me. <laughs> All right. I'm a, okay, yeah. I love you guys. It's time for you to wake up. Yeah, it's time for you to recognize your worth. Okay, it's time for you to wake up. Thank you, spirit. Tell me more. Tell me more, spirit. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yes, okay. This person got you in bondage. They knocked all the cards on the floor. 
Thank you, Spirit. It's time for you to change. All these cards fell. I hate you. <laughs> Doing that to me. Why you did that? I'm not taking none of those, okay? It's time for you to change your status. It's time for you to come out of bondage. This person has you trapped. This person has you trapped, yo. And it's 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 you're suffering in silence, okay? Tell me more, Sarah. You're suffering in silence. Yeah. You're not able to um you're not listening to your intuition with gift being here. Okay, you are a gift, but this person is treating you like you, like you are an option. Hmm. Why is gift in reverse? Oh, yeah, like you are option, abandonment. Some of you abandoned your gifts. You're not listening to your intuition. Okay, you're procrastinating. Mm-hmm. Look at lust in reverse, okay? So this is telling me that, you know, um, The opposite of lust is somebody who is content. Okay? So, something about a delay on something you want. A desire. Rumors, gossip, nosy is in reverse. So, that's a good thing. Um, you're keeping this to yourself. It's like, it's like you're delaying keeping something to yourself when it comes to this person. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my goodness. Tell me more spirit. Any other messages, please? And thank you for Libra. Okay. Yep. This is not a surprise. You're not surprised. Okay. You expected this. Because you were already fully warned about this person. But you kept dealing with them. And that's why you had these stomach issues. Because your stomach rules your intuition, your sacral chakra. Okay. Mm -hmm. And spirit is asking you, are you ready to ascend now? Are you ready to deal with this situation so you can grow, so you can glow up, okay? So you can get the things that you desire to have, which is your independence and freedom. Because when you are avoiding the transition, you're keeping yourself stuck. And that's what we store here with this card, trapped, okay? Stuck, no options, unforgiveness. And you may be stuck in your own mind or heart about what you did or about being in a situation because maybe you didn't realize that this person was a psychopath or a narcissist, okay? But once you realized it, you just stayed suffering in silence with this person, okay? So what I want to know is what you're, what you're ascending to, like how is that going to go? Are you going to speak your truth? And what your money is going to look like, okay? Once you make this, if you, if you, or once you make the change, what you can look forward to, okay? Because it looked like some of you might just walk off the job and leave, okay? Is that a good thing to do in order for you to get this glow up? And that's a necessary ending that needs to happen for some of you. Death to a rebirth, all right? A deeper connection to spirit. Okay, so um, if you enjoyed this reading, Libra, let me know in the comments. Okay, and then I'm going to take this to your extended on YouTube.
Alpha Libra in the member section only. So if you haven't been a member, but you are a subscriber, I suggest you become a member and check out the message. The good thing with this is you're not obligated to stay a member with me. I will never uh, quid pro you into a situation where you are being tricked Okay, I am not a psychopath. Okay, it's not much money. It's like $3.99, $4.99. But you get these messages and you also get to see me. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this to the extended. For those of you that want to meet me over there, go ahead and pay your membership. And let's see what's going on with this situation. And how is it going to turn out for you when it comes to your career? Deuces. <laughs>